Hey green techies out there, welcome back to another tech filled show. This week I'll show you a house that can be made out of recycled diapers, Intel wants your next netbook to run on the sun, we have something every green guy would love for his green girl to wear, and a green story that really sucks. Here on So Scott, it looks like we might have some big news coming up soon. Whoa, we don't want to talk about that yet. Okay, but I do have some news I can tell you right now. What's that? Now our viewers can see us on Vimeo. Cool. Okay, on to the show. First story we have is a real dirty one. Why is that, Jason? Because it's about alternative use for dirty diapers. Ugh. And why are we talking about dirty diapers? See, the Canadian company No Waste found that almost all of the absorbent material from diapers and other hygiene products are normally burned to get rid of them. So they decided to fix that and recycle them into plastic building material, like roofing tiles and commercial tubing. They want to set up five diaper recycling centers in the UK over the next four years. A single plant can handle 36,000 tons of waste a year. That's a lot of shit. Oh, Scott, hold it. I was going to say that's a lot of shingles. Oh, gotcha. Now everybody, get out your 3D glasses. What do Intel, solar power, and 3D have in common? Is it an airplane? Intel calls it an ultrabook that uses near threshold voltage core. It's based on the same 22 nanometer tech as Ivy Bridge and reduces the power by 20 times compared to the current design. That's no airplane. Intel also says that its new 3D Trigate transistor will help further accelerate this new tech. Um, that's not how 3D works, Jason. But everything's so 3D. To show off this cool new tech, they ran a Windows PC on a solar cell the size of a POSHA stamp. This all put together makes for a 10 day battery life and should be out sometime in 2013. Hi, I'm Peter Pixie of PeterPixie.com, professional master of ceremonies, and you're watching Green Tech Weekly. Scott, I know you really want an electric motorcycle, but you may just want this electric sports car too. I know I do. Try me. Okay, so take a look at this. You know there's nothing there, right? Uh, there will be in post. I just wanted to make sure you knew. Okay. So, the almost unknown auto manufacturer Rimic Automobili showed its electric supercar off last week. What makes it super? The super part is that it has a whopping 1,088 horses under the hood. Wow, that is super. This supercar has four electric motors, and amazingly, they have enabled torque vectoring across all four wheels. It varies the power at each corner to pull the car through turns. With a speed test of 0 to 62 in 2.8 seconds. 62? And a range of 375 miles, this car does deserve the name Super. But sadly, this is only a concept. So I'll keep dreaming. Yeah, and I would prefer a real electric motorcycle to a concept supercar. And you got me there. This next story will give me somewhere to park my electric supercar. The Taisun Tower in Taiwan is slated to be the greenest building on Earth. The building will be 100% self-sufficient with zero CO2 emissions. For those of you keeping score at home, that's Lead Diamond. It will have an elevated garden as well as incorporate a vertical forest and landscaping. How are they going to pull that off? I have no idea, but here's an artist's rendition. And the artist is my six-year-old son, Jaden. The building will produce wind and solar power along with botanical and biotechnology for its residents. If that's not enough, it will stand tall at 390 feet, making it the tallest tower in central Taiwan. Oh, and they aren't done with the design yet, so they can only go up from there. So, this one isn't so much tech as it is what it does. This compostable swimwear by eco luxury designer Lyndon Loudermilk is made from plant starch and as little as possible. Why as little as possible? Because these are bikinis. You realize I can't see the graphic, right? <sighs> well then, here, 
Check this out. Hmm. Yeah, see? I see, yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um. Yep. Yeah. Oh, wait. We're still on, aren't we? On what? <clears throat> The material will take 180 days to break down if buried in the ground, so don't get this for your girl and expect it to melt away as she's swimming. Yeah. You have to explain that to Jeannie while it's on your <laughs> iPad. Hi, I'm Jeannie. I'm Eco Geeko's wife, and you're watching Green Tech Weekly. Hey, back to tech. You're right. This next story is about some green tech that really sucks. Wouldn't we call that an anti-green story? No, why? Because that's what we've called it in the past. This is about the world's most eco-friendly vacuum. So it doesn't suck. Yeah, it sucks. I mean, it's a vacuum, so that's its job. That means it's good. Uh, okay. You'll see why it sucks in just a minute. Anyway, StemVac starts with all sustainable components like a completely wooden frame, and that's not the tech part. It will detect what type of floor it's on, like carpet, wood, and other types, and regulate the suction power accordingly. It even knows when you stop using it long enough to move furniture, and it will drop the power it's using. STEM claims that it uses up to 43% less power than the conventional vacuum. I'm reading the website about it, and they say they haven't even built one, and that it's only a concept and they don't have any plans of even selling one. And that's why it sucks. Oh, now I see what you mean. Yep. So that's another show. If you're new to the show, subscribe to us on YouTube. And don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Or if you live nearby, feel free to stalk us in real life. Wait, what? We really like all the comments, no. so keep them coming. No stalkers. And remember to rethink a green. No stalkers. No, tell them no. Tell them no, Jason. Tell them no. Jason, say no. I'm gonna get you can. Say, I'm gonna get you can. I'm gonna get you can. Sir, I hate litter. I hate litter. Recycle, don't litter. Recycle. Dang it. Wrong. So, I'll get this light over here. Oh, you guys are still here? So we need show sponsors. Hit us up in the notes or the link on our website if you want to be our sponsor. Thanks, see you around.